The whole world was looking for her, but found no trace of her. How the mysterious disappearance of her daughter ruined the marriage of Albano and Romina Power. It appeared as though these two individuals had won the jackpot of destiny, or perhaps fate itself had orchestrated their love story. With nearly 25 years of unbridled happiness, four children, and a remarkable level of fame, Albano and Romina Power seemed destined for a lifetime of bliss. However, an enigmatic tragedy emerged, forever tearing apart the lovers and profoundly transforming their lives. Albano, a native of Italy, spent his formative years in a setting where his future as a musician was undeniable. However, his parents harbored hopes of him following in their footsteps and becoming the heir to their prosperous farming business, which reaped substantial profits for the Carisi family. Yet, the young man's aspirations refused to align with tending sheep and cultivating grapes. Promptly after celebrating his 16th birthday, he embarked on a journey to Milan, driven by an unwavering determination to conquer the sun-kissed musical Olympus of Italy. Nevertheless, the realm of show business exhibited no urgency in embracing this ambitious young talent. Instead, Albano found himself toiling as a loader, a waiter, and even a parcel collector. His endeavors to break into the music industry proved futile for nearly six arduous years. It was only when Albano reached the age of 22 that he experienced a breakthrough in his career. He participated in the prestigious New Voices Festival, curated by the renowned Adriano Celentano, and emerged victorious. In an instant, Albano's name resonated throughout Italy, leading to a surge in invitations for performances. As a talented composer, he also began writing music for films. It was during one such film production that Albano first laid eyes on Romina. Seated on the sidelines, the delicate and youthful girl observed the set with a sense of intrigue. Prior to this encounter, Albano had not crossed paths with her, and Romina's appearance deviated from the conventional image of sultry Italian actresses. Engaging the girl in conversation, the musician discovered that she was a mere 16 years old, and had traveled from the United States to star in a film. During their initial exchange, Romina confided in Albano, expressing her relief at escaping her home country. Her parents had recently divorced, and her mother's demeanor had deteriorated within a matter of days. Romina's mother, disinterested in her daughter's singing aspirations, envisioned a future for the young and beautiful girl as an actress. She believed that Romina's path to success would involve catching the attention of a wealthy sponsor who would provide her with a comfortable life. However, these plans of her mother were destined to remain unfulfilled. Following their initial encounter, Albano and Romina became inseparable. The age difference of eight years between them did not deter their affection. Albano was resolute in his intention to marry his beloved as soon as she turned 18. A happy family and a successful duo. My daughter is placing her life in the hands of a rough country bumpkin, forsaking her career and willingly embracing a life of destitution. Romina's mother exclaimed in anguish upon learning of her daughter's decision to marry Albano Carisi. According to circulating rumors, the woman even went as far as demanding a $100,000 financial guarantee from the musician, as insurance in the event of a divorce from Romina. Nonetheless, Albano's future mother-in-law, the American woman, also harbored reservations about her son's choice. How could that inexperienced girl possibly be a wife and mother? However, the impassioned lovers paid little heed to the disapproval emanating from their scandalized relatives. Their happiness and devotion to one another eclipsed any external criticisms, as they eagerly anticipated the transformative journey that lay ahead. Furthermore, Romina had a joyful surprise in store. She was expecting their first child. In the year 1970, the union between the 27-year-old Italian singer Albano and his 19-year-old American counterpart, Romina Power, was solemnized through marriage. Reminiscing on that momentous day, Romina shared, 
As we exchanged vows, reporters swarmed the church's entrance. I overheard them placing bets, confidently asserting that our marriage would endure no longer than a year, a week, perhaps even just two days. Yet, despite the dire predictions from both critics and those consumed by envy, none of their gloomy prophecies materialized. Just four months after their wedding, the young couple welcomed their first child, a daughter named Ilya, and in 1972, their son Jari was born. Thirteen years down the road, Romina gave birth to their daughters Crystal and Romina Jr. Soon after, the couple embarked on a joint musical journey, with Al Bano composing the music and Romina crafting the heartfelt lyrics for their songs. They achieved remarkable success, winning the prestigious San Remo Festival in Italy twice and captivating audiences worldwide. The covers of magazines were adorned with pictures of their blissful family, while journalists and adoring fans gathered outside their home, ever eager for a glimpse of their beloved idols. Reflecting on those years, Romina and Albano often recalled how the passage of two decades felt like the passing of a single day. They were immersed in profound happiness, accomplished, deeply in love, surrounded by their children and cherished friends. Thunder in Paradise The trajectory of the couple's life took a dramatic turn when they received alarming information about an imminent kidnapping plot orchestrated by the Mafia targeting their son Yeri. Faced with this harrowing revelation, the parents were compelled to take immediate action to safeguard their child. Urgently, they made the difficult decision to relocate Yeri outside of Italy. Yeri enrolled in the renowned La Rosie College, where he completed his high school education. In the comforting halls of this esteemed institution, he found himself among classmates who shared a similar plight. Children of prominent Italians who had also sought refuge in secure Switzerland for the protection of their loved ones. However, the lingering trauma of that distressing time continued to haunt Romina, leaving an indelible mark on her psyche for years to come. With a profound sense of maternal instinct, Romina perceived the ever-looming threat that encircled her precious children. She did her utmost to shield them from harm, but the reality was that she couldn't keep them under her watchful gaze at all times. Moreover, her eldest daughter, Ilya, had blossomed into an enchanting young woman, adorned with bright eyes and cascading blonde curls. Ilya Kerizzi nurtured aspirations of adventure and literary creation. Fueled by her dreams, she conceived a plan that intertwined her desires to hitchhike her way to the United States. In her mind's eye, Ilya envisioned not only the thrill of traversing new horizons, but also the invaluable opportunity to observe and immerse herself in the experiences of destitute students, sheltered only by the night's embrace. This first-hand encounter would serve as fodder for her forthcoming novel, as she sought to portray the essence of their struggles and resilience. The final conversation between Ilya and her father transpired over the phone on January 1st, but five agonizing days later, distressing news emerged. It was revealed that she had left her hotel room, never to be seen again. The days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, yet there was no trace of the young girl. Ilya vanished without a trace, leaving behind a profound void in the hearts of her loved ones, and her whereabouts remained an enduring mystery. Subsequent investigations shed light on a startling revelation. Ilya had not been residing alone in her hotel room, but had shared it with a companion, Alexandra Masakila, a 54-year-old African-American street musician. Ilya regarded him as a mentor and spiritual guide, referring to him as my master. However, suspicions surrounding Masakila's alleged involvement in drug-related activities and human trafficking had long lingered. Disturbing testimonies from witnesses surfaced, indicating that Ilya had exhibited peculiar behavior recently, suggesting that she may have been under the influence of drugs administered by Masakila. The circumstances surrounding their relationship and Ilya's puzzling demeanor only deepened the mystery surrounding her disappearance. Masakala was apprehended and detained, 
offering his account of a heated argument with Ilya on that fateful evening. According to him, the young girl had stormed off to seek solace in the open air, intending to continue her journey independently. The Italian consulate, U.S. law enforcement, volunteers, and even factions of the underworld became embroiled in the exhaustive search for Albano's missing daughter. Desperate to locate their beloved eldest child, Romina and Albano offered a staggering reward of $100 million to anyone who could bring her home. Investigators relentlessly pursued leads, with new theories emerging. Reports surfaced of a sighting of a fair-haired girl near the banks of the Mississippi River on the night of January 7. Witnesses claimed she professed a profound connection to the river, uttering words that hinted at a deep spiritual affinity before allegedly throwing herself into the water. Divers tirelessly scoured the river's edges, but their exhaustive efforts yielded no trace of the missing girl. Subsequently, a chilling narrative surfaced, suggesting that Romina had fallen prey to a trucker killer who targeted young girls. The haunting theory gained momentum when the deranged killer pinpointed a specific location within a wooded area, claiming to have buried the lifeless body of the blonde girl he had abducted and murdered in early 1994. However, to everyone's bewilderment, the remains discovered at the site did not belong to Romina, but rather to another long-sought missing person, a separate victim who had been sought for years. The bewildering twist only deepened the sense of unease surrounding the fate of Romina Power. Couldn't get through it together. For nearly two decades, a relentless pursuit of answers ensued, involving a multitude of parties. Five private investigators, Interpol, the Mafia, and the U.S. police. Yet, despite the exhaustive efforts, not a single trace of Isla Carisi was ever unearthed. However, the tabloid media ceaselessly fueled the inferno, capturing sensational headlines that only served to exacerbate the already agonizing situation. Ilya Carisi rumored to be carrying a child out of wedlock, parents suspected of hiding her on their estate. Ilya Carisi shuns reunion with her estranged mother and father. Ilya Carisi allegedly spotted in Arizona. Eldest Carisi daughter went stable hand, elopes abroad. The relentless speculation and sensationalism tore at the mother's heart, exacerbating her grief and adding an unbearable layer of uncertainty to her already shattered existence. Towards the end of the 1990s, Albano, in a poignant interview, shared his belief that his daughter had met an untimely demise. According to his account, Ilya had ventured to swim across a river, but, impaired by alcohol or drugs, found herself unable to complete the journey. Albano posited that the strong currents and the presence of numerous crocodiles in the area contributed to the absence of her body ever being recovered. Romina, however, regarded her husband's words as a betrayal. She clung to the flicker of hope, yearning for her daughter's safe return. The couple's relationship was shattered by the fallout from this revelation, leading to a highly publicized scandal and their subsequent divorce. Romina sought solace in the United States, dedicating herself to art and residing on a secluded farm. Meanwhile, Albano embarked on a new marriage seven years after their separation, though the union proved to be short-lived. In 2013, the official search for Ilya came to a disheartening halt. Albano, determined to continue living in the wake of the tragedy, reached out to his ex-wife with an unexpected proposition to perform together at the anniversary of San Remo. Surprisingly, Romina agreed. The duo has since rekindled their collaborative partnership, gracing stages with their presence once more. Their performances have captivated audiences, especially during their visits to Moscow, where eager fans eagerly await their return. On stage, their connection appears palpable, reigniting a sense of closeness, even though they adamantly deny any bond beyond their artistic collaboration in their interviews. It seems that they have become wary of inviting further upheavals from the relentless blows of fate, which had once so mercilessly punished them for their abundant happiness.